For many students, documenting what they are thinking during learning means so much more than using just a pen and pencil. Instead, many students want to be able to use tools that help them to organize their thinking. Giving students multiple ways to express what they are thinking during learning gives you a glimpse into what they're working on and where they are headed. So what are some digital tools that help you provide multiple opportunities for students to express their thinking and learning? There are five tools that we're going to discuss in this module that you can immediately take back to your classroom and share with students. If you would like to work along with us as we continue through the module today, take a minute to pause this video to grab your iPad. Let's start with Skitch. Skitch opens a world of photo annotation and visual creation through easy to use tools. You can insert photos from the camera roll and then add text, arrows, illustrations over top of the photo for visual explanations and sharing. Saves can be saved to the camera roll, emailed, airdropped, etc. This tool would be great for students to create drawings, visual representations, and so much more. Take a minute to pause this video to explore Skitch on your own. Be sure to check out all of the cool features that it has to offer to support your instructional needs. Next is iBrainstorm. iBrainstorm is a free brainstorming application for the iPad and iPhone. The app allows you to record brainstorming sessions using a combination of freehand drawings and sticky notes. You can share and collaborate with other users of iBrainstorm. This would be a great tool to help students organize ideas, create graphic organizers, and build representations of models in the classroom. Book Creator is a fantastic way for students to document what they are learning. The Book Creator app is a powerful tool that provides the resources and tools needed to create a publishable ebook. Students can create engaging examples of understanding across disciplines and classes. User-friendly interface allows for all students to have access to meaningful and shareable reflections. What a fantastic tool to support science lab reports, journaling, writing, and reflecting. Take a minute to pause this video to explore iBrainstorm and Book Creator on your own. As you are looking at the features that each app has to offer individually, Think about how they can be used together to support student learning. Take a minute to think what tool you would use if students wanted to brainstorm ideas with other students. If you selected iBrainstorm, you're correct. Explain Everything's free version will provide access to several tools that can be used to annotate and make notations on and about photos. Students who love to use pictures and visual aids to learn will enjoy using this app to document and explain their thinking. Take a minute to pause this video to explore Explain Everything on your own. Be sure to compare the features that Explain Everything has to those features of Sketch and decide what works best for you. And finally, GarageBand. Although GarageBand is primarily a tool for creating music and creative audio files used for radio shows, it can be used to record speaking skills. As students progress in their knowledge and practice, each audio file can be saved and shared to various locations for review and reflection. As part of an inquiry-based lesson or unit, GarageBand can support in a variety of ways to organize and share what students are learning. Take a minute to pause this video to explore GarageBand. Think about how this might be used to support your instruction in the classroom. In closing, remember that when asking students to solve problems in multiple ways and through multiple lenses, it requires us to create learning goals and or success criteria. Utilizing digital tools can help students organize their thoughts so that they are able to reach their learning goal. If you are interested in learning more about how each of these apps work, please visit WCPS Online Modules. Join us in the next module to learn how to use digital tools to elicit evidence from anecdotal notes.